What's going on YouTube? Luke here, back with Clean Automotive Detailing. Today we're going to be working on this 1999 Honda Passport, and the eagle-eyed among you might notice that this car has been parked in my driveway before. This car belongs to a longtime family friend of mine who sold it to me in my time of need and I have since sold it back to them. And since that time, it has gone under an incredible restoration. So our main focus today is to get the interior looking as good as the rest of the car feels. I know that it has been a while since I've posted. If you've been keeping up with my channel for a while, you'll know that I have had some recording issues in the past. When I started this channel, I was just using my iPhone and I ran into battery issues and tripod issues and the whole nine. This has kind of all been a big learning process for me. So in the past couple weeks, I've acquired a new camera, I've got a microphone, and I've got backup batteries for days. So the funny thing is, I've already recorded this intro and a lot of the work that I've done in this car but my microphone wasn't on. So that's cool. That's okay, this particular video is going to be somewhat of an experiment to kind of get myself acquainted with the camera. I have already learned that I'm gonna to need to buy a new card because this one keeps cutting out on me. So if the quality is a little bit shoddy and the rest of this video is a little bit sporadic, I apologize, bear with me. Anyways, I've already got the seats out of the car, I've already done the front, and if by some miracle there was sound, then I'll put it in there. Uh, but there's still a lot of work to do, so if you guys like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to go ahead and get the camera pulled in, and we'll get started. See you in a minute.
Okay, while well, I've got you here for a second, I want to show you something. Um, these seat rails, pretty much on every car, drive me absolutely bonkers because you can't clean them. Uh, what I did just now was take a little bit of degreaser and run around the outside here on these mounts, but if you'll notice, there's still a whole bunch of gunk kind of down, and it's not really gunk, it's just dust, right? But the issue that you run into on a lot of seat, on most seat rails is that those need to be, they need to stay greased, right? So that the chair can, or the seat can slide freely up and down. So just kind of as a side note here, be careful when you're cleaning these. If you got a steamer or a degreaser or whatever you're using, don't pull all that grease out of there. The only real way you can do it to make it perfectly clean is to take the seat rail off, degrease it, degrease the whole thing, clean it out, use a steamer, and re-grease it. Uh, for the purposes of this, we're not doing all that. We're just doing the mounts right here. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, right? Because these get covered up with a plastic piece. So um, that, that's all I really had to say, but I did want to bring you in and kind of make a note of that. So moving on. We're gonna call that a conclusion. Finished the interior, gave the exterior a quick little wash and spray wax, and she's looking really nice. So if you've been keeping up with my channel, you'll know that I did a Tesla Model 3 review last weekend, which was an absolute blast to film. And that's gonna be kind of an addition to the channel going forward, uh, is doing car reviews. In addition to the camera and the microphone, I also bought a mount, a car mount. So. Uh, it's supposed to work on the interior and the exterior, so it's going to be good for uh, car reviews, and I'm hoping I can get some pretty cool performance shots on the outside as well. I'm actually about to get in this car and take it for a spin real quick, and uh, we're going to kind of do a little experiment on that. So that video will be posted immediately following this video, and I will leave a link to it down below. But guys, that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also hope that the quality of this video is not terrible because I have kind of been fighting the camera today uh, with it stopping and starting. So I do think I'm going to have to buy a new SD card for it and um, hopefully that'll solve the problem. So if this video is garbage, I apologize. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.